almost everything that happened during today's session. Do not worry. We're getting you caught up right now on the only stocks that you need to know about as we head towards the close. It's time for your top 10. Number 10, Sprint, up about 7%. The CEO predicts the carrier will begin adding monthly contract customers in 2014 after the shutdown of its ill-fated Nextel network. Sprint, which was acquired by SoftBank this month for $21.6 billion, pulled the plug on the Nextel system on June 30th. And Mosaic, get this, plunging more than 17% today as Russia's Orakali ended limits on potash production. Investors are concerned a flood of supply will lead to lower prices for potash, a soil nutrient that strengthens plant roots. Number eight is Community Health, down more than 3% after agreeing to buy Health Management Associates for $3.9 billion. Cash and stock deal. Health management holders will receive $13.78 a share. That's 7.6% below yesterday's closing price. Trish? All right, number seven, JP Morgan, down nearly 1% as the bank agrees to pay more than $400 million to settle allegations that it manipulated power markets in California and the Midwest, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission says J.P. Morgan's traders engaged in strategies that led power companies to overpay for electricity. We're going to actually be talking with the chairman of FERC in just a few minutes, so stay tuned for that. We'll get more details on these uh on these uh, accusations sure will, Trish. Jason Morgan. Get to the bottom of that whole thing. All right, JetBlue falling more than 2% today. The airline reporting second quarter income falls by nearly one-third missing Wall Street's estimates. JetBlue says maintenance and other costs climb faster than revenues during the quarter. That's the problem. Number five is Facebook up 7%, just pennies away from its IPO price of $38 a share. Bloomberg News reporting that the world's largest social network plans to sell 15-second TV-style ads for as much as $2.5 million a day. That, according to people familiar with the matter. So uh, if you got in and felt like you got burned, now's your time, I guess, to get out. Well... Because you can, or right? May, or, or maybe this is, it's just getting started, right? Yeah, Depends or on hang on for the ride. Right. I'm just saying, I know a lot of people who got in, retail investors, mom and pop investors, who felt like they really got burned uh, by Wall Street, by their brokers, and have been waiting for this moment. Well, for here we are, all the way back to the IPO price. Amazing, it took this long, and yet it did come all the way back. It's interesting, though, those $2.5 million commercials, they're going to be targeted ads, so they'll go to very specific uh, users of Facebook. Uh, pretty interesting. First time you've seen video on yep, Facebook. Very much so. Number four, guys, Coach, down 7%, dropping the most in six months. After reporting second quarter, revenue fell nearly 2% at its established stores in North America. Now, Coach says the trend would continue as increasing competition hurts handbag sales. Ah, uh, yes. Well, Corning <laughs> down 1%, even though the industrial glass giant reported second quarter profit rose 35% as sales climbed and expenses dropped. We'll be digging into Corning's results when we speak with the CEO, the FO, Jim Flaws. That is coming up on Street Smart. Number two is Goodyear, up 9%, rising the most in more than two years. The company's second quarter earnings more than doubled as it sold more tires worldwide, led by a 4% increase in Latin America. Goodyear also reporting record operating profit uh, here in North America, as well as over in Asia. All right, we're coming up on the number one stock of the day. It's Pfizer. Pfizer shares trading up. About seven tenths of a percent. The drug maker says second quarter net income more than quadrupled, helped by the sale of its animal health business and a gain from settling litigation. Pfizer beat Wall Street earnings estimates, though revenue continued to decline due to generic competition. We're coming up on the close here. It looks like the market managed to eke out just barely a gain. We'll see, however, how those trades uh, finally settle up. But a little bit of upside there, ending the session pretty much flat. This is actually the 13th day in a row that we've seen a move of less than 1% in these markets. So uh, 